to read some of his recipe. Baked codfish Gilroy style. There are many different kinds of fish, including codfish available from nearby Monterey Bay and the Pacific Ocean. This recipe, which includes both potatoes and tomatoes, becomes a meal in one. Just serve it with a green salad and your favorite wine. <laughs> wow. Two thirds cups of salad oil, four cloves, fresh, four cloves of fresh garlic crushed, eight sprigs of fresh parsley chopped, six large new potatoes, two green onions chopped, two pounds of fresh codfish. I'm gonna get caught some codfish. Um, well, I like to go to the um, Fresco, but if you're on a real good budget, you can go to Dollar Tree. And they have in the frozen section, they have fit pieces of fish. Yeah. One large tomato and one lemon. I mean, I grow a lot. I grow my my herbs and stuff. But say you weren't to go to Costco, you don't have a lot of money. Yeah. $1.25. That looks really good. Mouth-watering. Ooh, mouth-watering baked fish. Maybe we'll make baked fish. Ooh, herb broiled salmon steaks. Herb broiled salmon sticks. Custom dictates that the cook can be gentle when choosing the spices to use and cooking salmon, lest the fish lose its own distinguishing flavor in the process. The seasoning, the seasoning used in this recipe have been carefully selected to blend with, enhance the flavor of the salmon sticks as they broil. However, prejudiced though we may be, the recipe could use just a little bit more garlic. We have half a cup of melted butter. Oh, yum. I like real butter. <laughs> wow, two teaspoons of lemon juice, two teaspoons of seasoned salt, a teaspoon of tarragon, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of ground marjoram, half a teaspoon of lemon peel, dash of cayenne, red, oh, red pepper, two pounds of salmon sticks. Oh boy, let's pick another page. I'll go by intuition. We'll just pick a random pages. Okay. Oh, lamb shanks divine. I haven't had Mediterranean food in a while. Mediterranean food or the gyro. Oh, look at this picture of this. Oh, garlic. Wow. Oh, lamb shanks divine. Saucy lamb shanks are tender and tasty from long simmering in a spicy tomato sauce. Four lamb shanks, two teaspoons, two tablespoons of flour, one half teaspoon of seasoned salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, I'm not going to use the MSG. It says on there. It says a quarter teaspoon of MSG. I'm not going to use that. Half a tablespoon of shortening, one can of tomato sauce, half a cup of water, half a cup of instant mince minced onion, two tablespoons of lemon juice, but I probably put fresh chopped onion, but yeah. Well, one teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of sage, half a teaspoon of oregano, and a half a teaspoon of celery salt. Wow. Wow. Wings, <laughs> Wings will go go. Korean barbecue meat. Oh my God, in this Vessi has sort of five or six of these Korean style marinated flank steaks. Oh, whoa, my boys really love steaks. Fragrant with fresh ginger and garlic, only seem to serve six to eight people. We need a Korean shipper of fresh garlic, and it's generally knows good. I'm not get into the garlic business and <laughs> start producing, growing my own garlic. I have a few that started. Yeah, one and a half cups of sugar. Oh, I can make this into a spell. I can use my special uh, witch's sugar. I have a special blessed one. Oh, yeah. I have a xylitol. I have the, the light round. I have the cane sugar. I have the one from Hawaii. Oh, my God. The one from Hawaii is amazing. Half a cup of sesame seeds. I have all of these things. Pepper and Five or six flank steaks. Hot cooked rice. Oh, combine all the ingredients except steak and rice. And marinate steaks in the sauce for six to eight hours. Do not refrigerate it. 
Cook over barbecue to desire doneness. Oh, the barbecue. Heat, remaining marinade, and pour over meat and rice when serving. <sighs> Run on page. Oh. Wow. Oh, we're channeling another name. Kelly. Kelly's the name. So we'll see some Kelly... It's Kelly really, uh coming up. When I when I channel names you'll start I'll start seeing popping up those names on things. This absolute absolute mouthwatering chicken dish was unanimously selected as the first place winner in the garlic recipe contest. And cook off. It's a simple inspired combination that takes only twenty minutes to put together. Serve with cooked Chinese noodles and then stand back and let the compliments fly oh yeah oh this looks cool three and a half pounds of frying chicken cut into serving pieces or the equivalent in chicken parts of your choice three tablespoons of peanut oil excuse me uh, one bulk oh one whole bulb not the clove fresh garlic peeled and coarsely chopped two small dried Hot red peppers. Ooh wee. My favorite. Ooh, three fourths a cup of distilled white vinegar. One fourth a cup of soy sauce and three tablespoons of honey. Alright, that's my reading. This is the this book. I love reading this garlic lover's cookbook. I, I use gar garlic herbal medicine. I you I love garlic, of course. And um I um uh, I love it in my Italian cooking or we love it in our Mexican cooking and all sorts. Filipino cooking, oh my god. Oh, Filipino cooking with the uh, chopped garlic and the apple cider vinegar. Oh, so good. You know, mix it in and I use it as a dipping. Or maybe a little lemon with it and red pepper flakes. Hell yeah. <laughs> See you later. Bye.